the advantage of having 180 degrees elevation is that when the satellite passes the zero degrees where the antenna stops you can track the satellite without interruptions because the software knows that and flips the antenna on the back for example if the satellite passes north from your position you are tracking the satellite over there the satellite keeps moving and the antenna has to turn around all the way 360 degrees losing precious time once in position, the target might have traveled a long way. On the other hand, if the target crosses north zero degrees from right to left like that, it's enough to flip the antenna on the back and now you can follow the satellite crossing north without interruption. Look at the antenna where it's pointing and it's crossing north without interruption, even if the whole rotator is orientated towards the south. The antenna is orientated towards the north because it's flipped on its back. This is the entire setup, the Arduino, the solid state relay board. This is a linear power supply because it has uh, virtually no noise and in order to have a very precise uh, system and the reading from the potentiometer as you want to have as little noise as possible. So I chosen a linear power supply and this is just a uh, interface board with some resistors and the connectors for the connection with the motors this is what happens if I issue in a command you see the corresponding LED for the relay activate and just the same for the elevation the front uh, is made out of uh, of course the LCD, the two encoders for the azimuth and the elevation. This is a reset button. This is the power switch. And those two LEDs are very important for me because they are indicating exactly the activity of the motors. This strange amber color uh, means that the motors are stopped but they are connected because if I disconnect the motors the LEDs turn off because the circuit closes through the internal uh, coil of the motors and if I issue an, a command to increase the azimuth I can see that it executes Even if we have an indication about the motor's movement on the screen, this is a software derived indication, but this is hard indication, which is important when you are tracking the functionality of the device. Roger, tranquility, we copy you on the ground.